So finally, there's a symbol, right? And you recall we had this symbol before, right? The caduceus, right? And here we need the interpreter to understand, right? We need to be able to know this context of cultural meaning to understand the relationship between the caduceus and friendship, right? And in fact, the meaning of the caduceus can change if the interpretant changes, right? And that's why you need to have the interpretant. And in fact, in the example of the caduceus, the meaning of the caduceus has changed in historically, right? Because what's happened is that there's this other symbol, right, called the, uh, the uh, rod of Asclepius, which is uh, a symbol for medicine, right? But people have confused those two symbols, right? And so the U.S. Army Medical Corps took this symbol as a sign for medicine, right? So it's, it's basically, it's changing the interpreter and saying, well, we're, they were confused, okay? <laughs> and basically, it's up to, it's, but down to the present day, that's still the symbol they use for, you know, for the, this medical corps because they've basically, they've used a new interpreter. They're, they're reinterpreting this symbol. They're saying, oh, well, it's not really, for, it's, it's, it, they've, they've confused it with that other symbol, right? And so, but it's okay in a sense because it's, they're just they're just reinterpreting. They, they, in fact, they've they've got the, the def they've got the interpreter right there, medical core, and they've got the symbol, right? And so that's the interpreter that's saying, well, caduceus doesn't equal friendship. Now it equals medicine, right? And you can do that there's, because there's no inherent quality of that symbol that's linking it to friendship, right? Like the growl and the and the bite, right? It's there's the interpreter that's that's giving you that relationship, right?